Hi, this is Jason Chapman with uh, PlugRadar.com. We're in Logic Pro X today, and we're going to take a look at how to zoom and on both tracks and in the timeline. So uh, let's just start with a simple way. If you're using a MacBook Pro, you can hold down the Option key and scroll, or if you have some sort of touch um, pad, you can do the same thing. So I'm Option scrolling down. You can see that it's getting the waveform in, and Option pushing up the waveforms are getting smaller. Option left, option right, zoom in, zoom out. So then there are key commands for these, of course, and let's just take a look at what they are over here. So then this is, if you're not using a mouse, and or pardon me, if you're using a mouse and you wanna go over here, you can do the same thing, right? There's your vertical and horizontal zoom in here. And that's kind of the primitive way of navigating or moving around uh, on the zoom level you would want to use key command, key commands pardon me for each of these so i'm going to press command a for select all it selects all my regions and i press z oh i love that look at that it zooms it zooms whatever you have z zooms whatever you have so that's one way of uh, zooming in and out so let's work on the key commands the key commands oh they've changed these for logic pro x from logic pro 9 it's so beautiful it's command down arrow zoom in Zoom out, command, up, arrow. That's for your track heights. Command left and right will zoom in horizontal, or pardon me, back and forth, as you can see here on the timeline. And if you want a single track on its own, you can grab a single track. Let's just take the overhead and I can make it a different size. You can see that I can make them an individual size for each of these. So the last thing that you'd probably want to do from a zoom perspective is to see your waveforms at a different height. And there is a little area over here by the zoom that shows you the different waveform heights. So it says waveform zoom. So if I press it once, it's gonna make it a little bit bigger. But if you click and hold, it gives you a little a sliding arrow here that allows you to adjust what the zoom level should be. So you can see. Uh, one of the things that I'll point out right now, so you can see, uh, in between these waveforms, there is a bleed for the snare. So this is the kick track, there's the kick and kick. This was um, an actual recording, so we have a snare bleed right here. You can barely see it right here. But if I turn on the zoom, you can see it a little bit more. But if you really wanna zoom in, you click and hold, and then you can say, oh look, clearly bleed through that track. So. And that is your Zoom for uh, Logic Pro X. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like our video. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, also check us out online at www.plugrader.com. You can check out reviews for plugins and other digital audio workstations, including iOS music uh, devices as well. So I'm Jason for Plugrader. Thank you for tuning in.